Hi everybody, welcome and welcome back. My name is Ariel and today is day 21 of my 25 days of Christmas playlist. The link will be in the description, but today I wanted to share a little hack with you guys for your Christmas stockings that will make Christmas day a whole lot easier. Okay, so I wanted to come on and share like three, three and a half ways that you can temporarily label your Christmas stockings. This year was the first year that I kind of like had this idea for a couple of reasons. For one, I saw a really nice stocking at a thrift store and a part of the reason why I didn't buy it, one was because it didn't match my decor, but also I thought like even if it did match my decor, I really couldn't buy it because it was monogrammed and nobody in my household had that initial. And then also what made me think of this was this year my nephew um, we got him a stocking that's Paw Patrol, and I know that he's not going to have that stocking forever. So it's no point in me, like, permanently labeling that stocking as his, because I know it may either be passed down to another child, or um, where it's just going to end up being donated in a couple of years. So I wanted to share these ideas for anybody who either just wants a cleaner, simpler look for their stockings, or who you know has children and you don't want to permanently label a stocking that the child's probably going to grow out of So doing stocking tags is probably one of the most popular ways that I've seen all over the internet but I kind of wanted to add to this idea and extend it a little bit further for those of you that have multiple children in the household. I feel like a little hack is to turn over the stocking tag on the back and then add on the wall. I'm sorry, the wrapping paper that you're going to wrap their gifts in this year. When I was growing up, my mom always wrapped our gifts in a specific wrapping paper so that we knew which ones were ours. And I think this is a really good idea for that as well. Even if you did have monogram stockings, you can always just add on the tag that has the wrapping paper that their gifts are going to be wrapped in. And the good part about the tags is you can get gifts tags for like 10 for a dollar. You can get these at the dollar store. and have a different tag each year. This is probably the method that I'm going to use next year. I don't have matching stockings right now and next year I'm planning on getting a set of red knit stockings and I'm probably going to use this clothespin method to label my stockings because it's so nice and simple and small and I think if you wanted to do the wrapping paper hack with this, you could also do that by just clipping on the wrapping paper. If you like this video, please leave me a like, comment down below, and please consider subscribing. Have a good holiday.